But yet God has plans. But I'm going to tell you what happens. You notice sometimes when you have a plan and it's not quite working out and then things happen. It seems as though a curveball has been thrown your way and, and you're saying like, well, what's going on? This, this is crazy. This is confusing to me. I, I just don't understand. Why would, if there's a God, why would he allow this to happen to me? Because you would all have that question. If there's a God, why did he let this person die? If there's a God, why did, why did I end up this way? If there's a God, see, right? And so sometimes we do this in all this commercialism and we forget about really living. So when, the light, when this is over, when Christmas is over, and the, and the air no longer exudes Christmas and spirit of Christmas and all like that, because if, you, if you're shopping and you're getting in debt and all like that, it ain't worth doing anyway, because by the, you're going to spend the rest of the year trying to get out of wish you shoulda, coulda, woulda, right? So I'm going to encourage all of you, when this next year come in, after Christmas is over and giving is over, we tend to do better if we have goals set. Amen. Right? If you have, some of us tend, some of us need goals set. We need to be able to have declarations made in order for us to accomplish the things we're trying to accomplish. Some of do I have a witness in here? Some of you need to be strategically set in certain atmospheres and position in order for you to carry out the assignments in your life. And the reason why we end up in some situations that we're in because we have no structure in our lives. So I want to admonish, encourage you that when this next year come in, I need you to be intentional. Because in order for you to accomplish the things you're trying to accomplish, you've got to be intentional. That means with your relationships, with your friendships, and all that kind of stuff. With your money, I don't care if it's a dollar. We know how to make a dollar out of 15 cents, right? So whatever it is, I want you to be intentional so that you can live a better and more fulfilled year that's coming up. Okay? So this is what I want you to do. I'm going to give you, and I need y'all to record this, and I need y'all to take this. Uh, one of my adjutants, because this is going to be an insert in my book that I'm writing. Say amen, amen. amen. Um, I, um, but, and, and just to speak to that, I procrastinate. And procrastination is the devil. It is. It's the devil. And we need to know how to live in and outside of holidays, because we get caught up in the hoopla of holidays, and we know Jesus Christ on Christmas, and we know him on Easter, but you need to know him just on the first Sunday in February, third Sunday in October. We need to know him beyond the holiday, right? So I'm going to help you be able to keep it so you don't have to just see him at Easter when he, when he rises and then in, in December when he's born. But can God have a plan for your life? The problem was your plans didn't match up with God's plan. And what appeared to be noise, what appeared to be a disturbance, what appeared to be a, a, a roadblock, what appeared to be a bump in the road, what appeared to be a hindrance, was God's plan. Because he's kind of, he's tapping. And you say, what's that noise? That, it's interfering with what I'm trying to do. And God said, I'm trying to work it out for your good. He said, I'm trying to push you into your purpose. If I 